Greetings, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. We generally do about three webinars a month. The first one is usually given by our sales team for people that are new to Club Express or considering Club Express as an association management solution. And the other two webinars are either deep dives into particular modules or particular uh, pieces of functionality or maybe a, a version announcement. In fact, the next one is going to be new features in the next version of Club Express, which is going to be released soon. But today is one of the deep dive webinars. And unlike most of the webinars that deal with modules that are built into Club Express and come with your general Club Express subscription, this is uh, an optional module. This is an extra cost module. And what I'm going to do today is talk about what it does, how it does it, and you can see if this is going to be useful for your organization, and if so, if you want to install it in your setup. But let's take care of a little bit of housekeeping. The way we do this is that the phones and the microphones are muted. Only my microphone and Erica's microphone are active. So what we'd like you to do is any questions should be entered into the chat window. Erica will be monitoring the chat window and will try to answer any questions as they come up. At the end of the session, we will revisit the chat window to see if there were any questions that had not been previously answered. And this is really useful for those people that are viewing one of the recordings. And speaking of recordings, recording of this webinar and all of our tutorials can be reached if you go to clubexpress.com click on the cool stuff tab at the top of the screen and then click on the webinars tab and there'll be a list of the upcoming webinars and a list of the recorded webinars. Similarly, if you go to the video tutorials tab just above the webinar, you can see all of the tutorials. Uh, the tutorials are also available within our new help system and also on the support tab of your control panel. So there's a lot of ways to get to these things. And all of these videos are actually hosted on YouTube. So if you watch these on YouTube, please click on the subscribe button and then optionally on a notify button so that you'll know when new content has been uploaded to YouTube. And that way you can keep up to date on some of our newest content. And one last thing is if you're using Club Express and particularly if Club Express is working very well for you. We would like for you to go to clubexpress.com slash reviews and click on any one of these review sites and leave a review of Club Express so other people who are evaluating association management solutions can have the benefit of your experience and how Club Express is working for your organization. Today, we're going to be talking about classified ads. And as I mentioned, this is an optional module. And if you want this to be installed, you need to contact Club Express and ask them to install it. There is a one-time fee of $200 for this module. And it's got a whole lot of configuration options, which we'll get into. But it's, it's a nice way of you allowing your members to put classified ads onto your site. And we'll, we'll look at our demo balloon club for typical examples of that. The Classified ads is set up into three areas. You've got the general user interface. You've got the way the member accesses their classified ads and how they manage their ads. And then there's the administrative interface. And we'll look at all three of those things. And we'll look at it both as someone that's not logged in and as a member. And we'll look at how to use classified ads and how you manage these things in your member profile. And then we'll log in as an administrator and show how to configure the classified ads and how you could actually create ads and manage the ads. It's a, a pretty straightforward module, but there's a, a lot of little details that we can get into. And not surprisingly, we have a tutorial on this, and I'll get to that in a moment. So let me share my screen with you. Right now, we are logged into one of our demo clubs, and this is the Northwest Balloon Club, and we use this for a lot of our demos and tutorials. And this club doesn't exist. It's a fictitious construct that we have. And you'll notice that we are not logged in. So we have member login at the top, but we're not logged in. And the way you would typically surface the classified ads module 
if you wanted the public to see it, would be to put it on your menu. And so here I've put it on this public facing menu. And you'll notice when I log in that this menu changes depending on whether or not you're logged in. So if I click on classified ads, we see a couple of things. There's a search panel. So we could filter this list by just by merchandise or just by services or just by training or whatever. And you could search on it and you could search for a keyword. So if you were just looking for trailer, you could search just for trailer, et cetera. Now on any of these, you've got the name of the ad, you've got its category, you've got its price, when it was posted, and by who it was posted. You can see that it can have one or more photos. And we'll look, say, at this big rig balloon here. If I click on the photo, it launches, in this case, a photo album because there's more than one photo. And what you can do is you can stop the slideshow and you can start the slideshow. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. If there's only one picture, it doesn't come up as a, as a photo album. If you click on view more, now you get to see more information about it. The information you were able to see before, things like its description, all the details that the member wanted to put into it, and some additional information. And you'll see all of these fields when we look at how to create a new item. And in this case, these are all called balloons. And one of the things that you can do when configuring is you can give the, your collectible item a name. So you'll see later on where the word balloon will feature rather prominently. And if you're a car club, you might have car or automobile. But if your club collects multiple kinds of things, then probably what you'd want to do is just call this thing an item. And then in its category, you would say, this is a painting, this is a sculpture, something like that. And so you could use the category as sort of a, a subset of your items. So now let's log in. I think it's a Bonte. Okay, so most of you are probably familiar. She has a pending payment. And my guess is that the payment may be for some ads that she hasn't paid for yet. Well, let's get rid of this for a moment. So one thing that I didn't mention is this is a thing called classified ads policy that's also on this page. So when you click on that, it pops up a screen with text that you can configure as to the nature of what you allow to be posted, maybe how much it costs to post. So in this case, it says that our members are gonna be charged $2 for posting an ad and a dollar to renew it. It also mentions in our text here that says all ads require approval and that the members will be notified if for some reason or other the ad is declined. And there may be a lot of reasons why you would decline an ad. Like this one says you can't do weapons, drugs, you know, that kind of stuff. But it could just be because you forgot to put in a price. So there, there may be some reasons that you don't want to allow these uh, things posted or where it's located or something like that. So how does a member create a new ad? Well, first of all, I want to show you that there is in the new help system, if you click on help, It'll open a new window and it will show you classified ads, see how users view classified ads, see uh, how to add a classified ad and configure. So these are the kinds of things that we're doing today. Oh, by the way, as I mentioned, there is a tutorial video, not surprisingly called classified ads uh, on YouTube here. And a lot of the things that we're going through, and in, actually in some more detail, is in this 13-minute video. So you should review that video in addition to uh, watching today's uh, webinar. So how does a member create a new ad? Well, the way they do this is they go to their profile by hovering over their name and choosing profile. And if the classified ads has been enabled, there's a link here for classified ads in the website area of their profile. So when Audrey clicks on this, 
you'll see that we get the classified ad manager for Audrey Abanti. And if you look at the breadcrumbs here, it says home member profile classified ad manager for this user. So it's not looking at any other users. This is just Audrey managing her own ads. And she can search by title, she can search by category like you could before, but she can also limit by status. And let's talk about status for a moment because you'll see them here in the status column because it just shows the date this, the ad was activated, its category title, when it expires, how many renewals are left and things like that. So let's talk about status for a moment because this will give you a little grounding in uh, where we're going with this. Keep in mind that this particular club has been configured that there is a payment required both for original ads and renewals and the original ads need to be approved before they, they show up as active. So when a member creates a new ad by clicking on add classified ad, they get to fill out the information and when they save the information, they don't have to submit it. They can just save it as a draft. So draft means the ad is being created, but it's not yet been finalized or submitted for approval or payment. If they click the submit button and there is an approval necessary, means that the ad has been submitted to the club for review and possible approval or be declined. Approved pending payment means that this ad has been approved by the club, but can't be activated because there's still money due on it. So the, the member hasn't paid. So if you look down at the bottom here where this says approved pending payment, the member can go to their payment page and, and pay for it. Active, well, there's also the same thing for renewed. So if it was a renewal, it won't be renewed until the, the renewal payment is made. Active simply means the ad is currently showing on the website. Declined means that you had submitted an ad and for some reason, the administrator or the coordinator will not let this thing be, become active and won't, won't even put it into approved pending payment. And as I say, there could be any number of reasons. But when the administrator declines, the little pop-up window comes in and lets the administrator type in why it was declined. And that gets emailed to the member. So the member will know why it was declined. And maybe it's they didn't put in the location or they forgot to put in some other information. They can go in and edit it and just resubmit it. So that's what decline means. Expired is for ads where the posting period is run out so it's no longer showing on the website. And if it's allowed by the club, say here this says expired, if it's allowed by the club here, they could renew it. And canceled means that the ad was canceled either by the administrator or the member, so it just no longer shows up. So it was uh, an approved message, and that's what canceled is over here, this red one here. You could, you could just cancel it, it will no longer be active, It'll still remain here as a canceled ad, but uh, it won't show on the website anymore. Once again, over here, we can view the, the club policy. And just before I add a classified ad, Erica, are there any questions in the chat room at the moment? There is one asking, can ad pricing be a function of the asking price? The ad price, as you'll see when we configure it, is just a dollar amount for each ad or for, for renewals, which don't have to be the same. You could charge $10 to launch an ad and maybe $5 to renew it. But you can't say we are going to take 10% of, of the asking price, which would be really expensive ad for like a $30,000 balloon envelope or something like that. <clears throat> but that so it's a good, good question, but no, that's not currently a feature. Any other so questions? Far, that's the, the only question. Good. Okay. Thank you. Let's add a new ad. So I click on add classified ad. I want to add a club banner. And it's asking price, let's make it $25. Now this is gonna be a banner that we're gonna hang over the side of the balloon basket with just the club logo. And I made up this club logo three minutes before we started this webinar. So we're gonna call this merchandise. And now, 
we get to decide how the the replies can be made, how, how the uh, people viewing the ad can contact the owner. And so we can either use the main phone number from the user's profile, the mobile number from the user's profile, or if we type in an email, you can use an email address, or you could say, you know, uh, talk to me at the next meeting in freeform text. So let's just say we're going to use the email address and we'll call this um, Fred at gmail42.com, something like that. And this hidden thing is only available to administrators. So this is uh, not enabled. And you'll notice uh, the status is handled automatically by the system. So right now we haven't submitted it. So it's currently in draft mode. And so we can say, um, hang our club banner from your basket during fly-ins. Whoops. And of course, we've got a limited version of the advanced content editor here. So you could come over here and highlight it and go bold. And you could pick the color and say, oh, I want this to be red. And you can, you can format this any way you want. And you can put in additional information, waterproof nylon banner. So what we'll say, say it's uh, 48 inches by 36 inches, something like that. And price notes, uh, we can say custom sizes available at additional cost. And condition will be new and location is Chicago, Illinois. And if there was a, a, a URL for it, so maybe you're a, a sign a banner posting company, we'll assume that Audrey has her own balloon company. So if she wanted to just save it as a draft, she'd do save it as a draft here. But what we're going to do is we're going to submit. And when I choose submit, it says the classified ad has been submitted and you'll be notified when it has been reviewed by an administrator. So if we look at her classified ads here, you'll see that this new merchandise submitted club banner was not activated yet, and it doesn't expire yet because it doesn't exist yet. So this is an example of an ad for a club that both requires approval and payment. So if it didn't require approval, but did require payment, there would be a dollar sign here, uh, be a dollar, dollar sign over here. And if she were to click on that, she would go there, look at the classified ad, and she could check it and select her payment method. And when she's paid for it, it would go active. But in this case, it's submitted. So it first needs to be approved and if approved, then it becomes approved pending payment and which point she can pay for it. So I'm gonna log in now as an administrator, but this is the way the member manages his or her own ad. And if they wanna renew an ad, they can click on this, say maybe this thing uh, expired a couple of days ago. We could renew this by clicking on the renew button and then what I would do is say that was the ground crew one. So this is the renewal. I would have to come over here and I would have to send in a check or whatever. But the point is I can't, I can't do that on this site. But that's the way this would get renewed because this says it's been renewed, but it's pending payment. So the renew button is gone from that one, but it's just waiting for the money to be entered. So now I'm going to log in as an administrator. Now, of course, the administrator can look at his own classified ads, but really we're interested in the members' classified ads. So the way we would get to this is there's two ways. 
One is we could go to classified ads here and search for them. And I could come over here to the page tools widget and click on edit and that will take us to the classified ads manager. Or I can go to the control panel and go to the club tab. This tab might say club or association or theater or whatever and click on classified ads. Now, by the way, you'll notice here that this says this is active for everyone. That allows me to put it on the public menu. But if I came over here and said, oh, it's only, member, only available to members, even if you put it on the menu, they'd have to log in to get to it. So you can decide whether or not you wanna limit the classified ads just to your members or make it available for everybody. Or you could disable the module entirely but we're going to leave this as anybody. And as long as I'm here, there's another thing you can do. As with all of our other modules, you can decide who should be a coordinator or in effect, an administrator of this single function. So if I click on this, oh, see, I've already made Audrey Abanti a coordinator. And if I wanted say Jenny Cho, I could make, Jenny a coordinator. So that way when Jenny logs in, she could manage the classified ads for the, for the club. So this is a very nice way of assigning roles to people as the roles change within your organization. So if I click on classified ads, unlike before where it said home member profile classified ads for Audrey, this says home control panel classified ads manager. So this is managing across the entire club. And so we could search for a member's last name. We could search by category like you could before. We could search for any status like we could before. We can search for only those that were activated in a particular range or text or when they expire. But I'm just gonna click on search. And you'll see that these are sorted by the last name of the member who created the ads. There was one other thing I didn't show is that when, once the ad had been created, there is a pictures icon which will let you manage the pictures. I forgot to add the photo. So I'm gonna add the photo and choose the photo here, classified ads, video, media, NWBC logo. So now we've got this, this banner. So that's one of the things that Audrey could have done after she, she actually had submitted the ad. That's where you would then go and add uh, photos, one or more photos. So this one that was submitted as an administrator, I can then go into this. I can click on it and see what she had entered. And at the bottom, I can either approve it or I could decline it. And if I click on decline, here's where you would enter the text. You forgot to put your location or how it's delivered, whatever. And it says this comment will be shown in the email that's sent to the person who submitted the ad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna approve it. So now this ad says it's been saved. And if we look at the club banner, it says it's approved pending payment. So if Audrey logged in again, she would see that she owes money on this and she could click on the payment icon. But here I'm going to assume that we sent this out, we approved it yesterday. And I'm just going to, because I'm an administrator, I'm going to, record her payment. And it's going to be for the club banner classified ad because she's got some other ones. She, she has an ad that she doesn't want to pay for yet. And so if we come over here and I say that, oh, we received cash uh, given to Martin at January meeting. And if I record the cash payment, now, if we look at the club banner, now you see it's active. Because it was approved and it was paid, it becomes active. So if we come back 
to the members menu and go to classified ads. Now we'll see this ad here. We have all the information. You see the formatted text here, additional information, her website and all that. And this says that uh, we want to uh, do email the seller. So here's the email that showed up and all it has is a subject. So there's no other information. As a matter of fact, this is very similar to another optional module called the jobs board, where you could make job postings uh, available. And if somebody wants to uh, respond via email, all it does is say, well, give you the address and the name of the, uh, of the subject here, and then you would put in your qualifications or information about, about this. So this is the way you would contact Audrey about this ad. Let's go Hi, back. Jordan. Yeah, go ahead, Erica. I have, I've got a question for you. Sure. Uh, can the classified ad administrators or coordinators be notified by email when an ad has been submitted? Can yeah. They receive a notification? Yeah, and we're going to get to that in a moment. So one person can be uh, notified, especially if it requires approval. Because if it requires approval, obviously someone's going to get notified. I think you can do it even if it doesn't require approval. So let's go back in. So we'll, we'll use this same approach. Uh, we'll go in via the edit icon on the page tools wizard. And so you'll see that this one is active. We got a couple that will not be renewed once it expires until payment is made. I think we've got examples of all the different kinds of status here. And un unlike the previous search results, this one also has the member name in it. And similarly, if I as an administrator want to add a classified ad, I mean, if it's my ad, I would do it through my profile. But if I wanted to add an ad for somebody else, say maybe you had a, a form that you handed out at, a, at an event, when you do an ad classified ad, you get the same screen as before, except here's where you get to select the member. So if I search for Diaz, so you're doing it on behalf of this member. But there are a couple of little differences at the bottom. Yes, you could save draft, but you don't have to submit it because you're an administrator. <laughs> you are approving this by virtue of the fact that you're entering it. So you would save it as approved, so it wouldn't go as submitted. It would, if you saved it and there was money due, it would be saved as approved pending payment. If there was no money due, it would simply be approved and it would go, go live at that point. So doing this as an administrator is a little different. So that's an important that's an important distinction because you bypass the approval process because let's face it, you're entering the data. You wouldn't be entering it if, if it wasn't approved. So let's talk about some of the configuration options. Much like all other areas, classified ads can have categories. So you click on configure categories and you can see a list of the categories. If a category doesn't have any classified item, items in it, you could delete it. You might have category, I don't know what else we'd have, have here, except merchandise, services, parts, or trainings. You could put in whatever you want, and you would just add category. And then when you're adding or editing a category, you can decide whether or not it's active, because you might have a category that is active only during the holidays, during the, the year-end holidays, or only within a month before a fly-in event or something like that. So you can turn the categories on or off so that they do or do not display in the category list when somebody is adding a new item. If we go to configure ads policy, that just pops up uh, advanced content editor where you uh, type in the text and whatever formatting and whatever pictures or whatever, anything you want in here. And that's what pops up when you look at the classified ad policy window. And now this is really the, the meat of it. These are the options for classified ads. The first question is, do you charge a fee? 
If you don't charge a fee, just put in a zero. Don't leave it blank. And if there is a fee for renewal, if you turn off the fee for renewal, that renewal fee disappears. If you turn on the fee for renewal, you, here's where you can configure how much the renewal fee is. Then you decide what your tax rate is, and this is based on whatever you've listed in your tax rate uh, module. You put in the financial account, and maybe this is uh, uh, external fees or merchandise or, or whatever. If you're using QuickBooks, you can put in QuickBooks item name. How long is the ad activated for? And do you want to send a reminder to the, the member that created the ad, maybe three days before, maybe you want to remind them that their ad is about to expire. Then the other thing that we mentioned is, here's where you decide whether or not ads require an approval. And this one's interesting as to whether or not ads can be edited by the member once they have been approved. Sometimes you don't want the member, once you've approved everything, you don't want the member going in and changing the text and changing the price and stuff like that. So if, they, if this isn't checked, once it's been approved, they really can't touch anything in the ad other than to cancel the ad. And here you can decide how many renewals are permitted and an answer to the other question. Here's the contact person who will receive notifications whenever an ad is created or submitted. So those are the, uh, the general options. Uh, back here, there are a couple of reports, classified ads by expiration date, by member name, all classified ads by status and ad details. So these are just standard uh, reports. This is pretty straightforward. It's handling all of the status for you automatically based on the way you've configured it. Do your ads need approval? Do they require payment? And can you renew ads? And then all of the icons and such will just appear without you having to do any work on this. And it will notify people if you want them to, uh, to be notified before it expires. It's a nice thing. It's $200. And if this is something that you want your members to be able to do, just call Club Express or, or drop them an email and they can add it to your website and you'll be billed the $200. There's no recurring charge after that. And uh, so let's open it up to any questions. So, so far, uh, we haven't had any additional questions. Do you, Erica, have you worked with the uh, classified ads manager very much? Uh, I know a lot of our hunting and rifle clubs will use the classified ads. I haven't delved too deep into it, but a lot of the questions I receive are normally the notifications, if they can be sent uh, reminders. You did cover, in fact, uh, but not so, too many questions. So it looks like we've covered most of the questions during the presentation. So with that, I want to thank everybody for their time. We appreciate you coming by during the webinar, and we hope to see you at the next webinar. Thanks, everybody.